climate change or global warming is an emerging subject and it is getting more complex day by day. Since industrialization, which is approximately fixed around 1860, the content of carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and HFC and CFC gases in the atmosphere are increasing. And these gases, termed as greenhouse gas, as a combination, has the capacity to capture the heat that is coming from the sun and retain part of it in the atmosphere. Temperature has always been changing, going up and down, but between one peak of hot temperature to another peak was maybe 1000 million year, 2000 million year, etc. So it was a very slow, lengthy process. But as the greenhouse gases are increasing, it has become relatively fast. The world agreed in 1990 to do proper scientific evaluation of the global warming phenomenon and an organization called Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was set up, IPCC. Their first report came out in 1990, second in 95, third in 2001. Up to this point, the scientists said, most probably, very likely, global warming is happening due to human interference. As we progress, we become rich, there are more cars, more buses, more train, more aircraft, more factories, uh, more or or urban waste. These are contributing to increase in greenhouse gases. In 2007, in the fourth IPCC report, they said we must act very quickly. And since then, the world is working very hard. Paris Agreement was finalized in 2015. And the rule book, how the Paris Agreement would be implemented, was finalized in 13th November 2021 just a few days back. Going back, in 1990, in IPCC 1, they said, let us not wait for science to be proven that human interference is the main reason for global warming. They said, we must act quickly. And a global convention or a law was finalized in 1992 and signed by all countries, including Bangladesh. Based on that, in 1995, first global conference on climate change was held. In 1997, Kyoto Protocol was produced. Now, in 1992, when UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, was finalized, it was built on four building blocks. Number one, mitigation, how to cut down the greenhouse gases or it must be cut down to the acceptable limit. Number two, adaptation, all the adverse effects must be accommodated or we must learn how to face them. Now what are the adverse effects? Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable country. Rainfall would be erratic. It will rain when it is not supposed to rain. As for example, 2021, it did not rain sufficiently in the peak of monsoon. It may rain when it is not supposed to rain. This year it rained or it is raining in the late autumn, which is unusual. Then there would be short duration heavy rainfall. For that, the urban areas would suffer. Dhaka city or for that matter, any city, any town in Bangladesh, would be highly vulnerable in 15-20 years time because drainage would be a major problem. Result would be food production would go down, flowering pattern would change, the pollinators would come at a later date, human health would be affected, sea level would go up resulting saline water moving in. As for example today, 
central part of Bangladesh, say like Gopal Ganj, has already become saline. In winter months, the river water is not drinkable. Shathira Khulna, Bagirhat and Borguna has become so saline that the productivity from agricultural side is almost uh, vanishing. Storm surge would increase. Cyclonic weather's intensity would increase. And the latest IPCC report, the sixth report that was published in September 2021, said Bangladesh could face category five cyclone, which Bangladesh has not faced as of today. There will be more lightning, there will be more fog, uh, there will be landslide, there will be riverbank erosion, there will be ocean acidification resulting in changes in ocean current and changes in the coral reef, changes in the seafood production. So we have to face them. The way things are going on in 50 years time, maybe in 50 years time or even earlier, the current food production through rice and wheat and potato would become half. Population would increase, food production becoming half. Can you think of what would happen? People are migrating. Already it is happening. Shathira and Khulna and Bagirhat already has a negative growth, population growth. People in Afghanistan or people in Iraq possibly would be migrating very soon because they are one of the worst affected area. So rainfall would become erratic. Natural disaster, their intensity and frequency would increase. And Bangladesh should prepare for this. The first topic I said, mitigation. Bangladesh does not produce much greenhouse gases and therefore it is not an obligation for Bangladesh to push for mitigation. But even then, going for renewable energy sources, we should try to cut down on the greenhouse gas production. But the main responsibility is that of the developed countries like USA, European Union, Russia, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, etc. The, as, the, as I said, besides adaptation and mitigation, there was talk about finance and we need huge amount of money both to address mitigation and adaptation. People, are talk, the world is talking about hundred billion dollar additional every year for adaptation and mitigation. And then we need capacity building and technology transfer. Technology is changing, improving and we need to build our capacity to absorb money that would be given to us. In Paris Agreement 2015, two more elements have been added and capacity building and technology transfer has been split up. One element is fixing or fixation of global targets. Now the world has made a commitment that we shall not allow the temperature to go above 1.5 degree. It is already one degree. This commitment was made interestingly in the second week of November 2021. So this is a very, very new topic. The world is debating how to handle climate change. And with respect to adaptation, what would be the level of our adaptation? We have not still worked it out from January 2022, world would start discussing about it and the target they have fixed on that themselves is two years. The adaptation, sorry, the, the, the capacity building and technology has now been split into two issues, but the seventh issue is very important. Adaptation, mitigation, technology transfer, capacity building, finance, and global targets. And the seventh issue is very interesting, which is the transparency mechanism. World is now demanding and every country has agreed, including Bangladesh, that it would maintain transparency in whatever we do. It has seven criteria. Whatever we do must be done in an accountable manner, must be done in a transparent manner, must be done in an inclusive manner with all stakeholders, and it must be done with the involvement of private sector. The role of private sector has been recognized in 2021, just 
two months back, and the role of youth, role of women, has is are given strong emphasis. Besides these four, there are three other conditions. One, measurable, two, reportable, and three, verifiable. When the world would be giving us funds, whatever we do, it should be done in an accountable manner. And independent parties would come and check it. So climate change is an emerging subject. We should prepare for it. Resources would be available, but we must know how to harness the resource and we must know how to make best use of the resources. Climate change is a problem of future, is not a problem of my generation. Maybe we have contributed a bit, but it is for the future generation to take care of the climate change and global warming related issue, otherwise the whole world would not be livable in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years' time. The world has promised that the, they will bring in the control by 2030 in another 10 years' time. Lots of research is needed, lots of monitoring is needed, but it is a serious issue. The whole world is uh, have no second opinion on that. All 197 countries agrees that this must be tackled collectively and the future of our young generation should be as, as, as safe as possible. Thank you.